finding your target audience online this is what we are going to discuss in today's topic so <clears throat> your target audience is the group that you think is the right people or the right customers you think that they are interested in your product or probably they want to avail the services this is your target market believe me or not for every product for every services there are particular number of audiences not the whole population of particular section whom attracts to you let's say we can do that on a demographic fashion definitely we can also do it on a economic uh, scale or uh, economies let's say big purchasing ticket uh, purchasers small ticket purchasers bill size when i say whenever i say ticket is the bill size that goes around it regular uh, ticket purchaser as a, as in the regular customer now believe me or not this does not depend only on the customer but also on the product or the business that you are in now you have to answer three questions how many of these people are found online are they browsing the net on a regular basis and if so which all sites they do visit what are their interest level can you engage them thereby that is the question that you, that needs to be answered if these three questions are there you are very well set to proceed with your businesses the process is the segment did i say identify the customers demographic wise economic wise age profile probably culture wise you look at it you will have it and there are various segments too right and try to place them in groups and accordingly educate those audiences about your product about your services about your brand about the facility that you extend so this is what we are looking as a segment after that is what you will understand which all group is much more vital for sustainability of business second is for profitability wherein you put in the minimum effort and maximum profitability come where you put in the effort because if those customers are not clinched to your product you stand to lose the market share so you need to understand what is the viability decide on the group that is most important to you and then probably prioritize said on the group basis as priority number one group priority number two group and so on so this is what we call about segment and targeting then comes the positioning decide how will you leave an impression how will you engage with them how will you connect with them how will you ensure your marketing mix is actually translated into sales proposition so what includes online as a part of a marketing mix everywhere i'll just give you certain metrics for you to understand approximately 1.56 and as as of today it is counting and i would say approximately 88% of the total world population is somewhere down the corner on an online fashion and of that 88% almost 92% or 95% would be browsing the net for a considerable period of time when i say considerable period of time in a day it amounts to number of hours spent and not number of minutes so allow me to focus you on on the us market so that you will have a better understanding and you can extrapolate it to your market itself 66% of the us tablet owners are surfing the web while watching television so they are multitasking while shopping they are multitasking they while doing a household work they are multitasking 90% 19 19% of the us web traffic is coming from mobile de devices this is stupendously up from 8% and that was way back in 2013 but right now it has increased in fact approximately 50% or should i say 60 or 70% are of the mobile traffics are going through the internet if anybody is on the internet most viable reason more viable devices would be the mobile consumer are spending more time on internet and mobile less time with print radio tv so it makes sense for you to be online the average article reach half of its total referrals which is around 6 and a half hours on your x on your facebook on your social media look at it what are we looking into is industrial manufacture using blogging to promote their product to promote their brand name to generate lead generations as such then we have the club services or business services like architecture publishing digital content they have those category specific magazine which are focused only to the audience with whom they are aligned with who are interested into it ministry hosting google hangouts as on when on basis not only the commercial establishment but even the federal government the provincial government are hooking up to their uh, online fashion to promote their services to know that where people the public can generally reach them business are being reimagined for mobile convenience 
like the um, uh, Albertson have put their product on Amazon Fresh. In fact, most of the small time business players have put that online versions of uh, Amazon or any marketeers, online marketeer, which is prevalent in the country or across the world, they, they are easily to be found out on those marketplaces. So makes sense to be putting the product in Amazon. Makes sense to put their products on Grubhub as far as Domino's are concerned. Domino's, they, they have their own delivery services. And then we have a Grubhub. We have so many other startups which are delivering foods at your doorstep. We have the Marriott Hotels who is partnering with Airbnb. Can you understand the research and the state for what, are, what is happening to it? A Marriott, an establishment, established brand for more than approximately a century. And Airbnb, not even a, a decade years old brand. They are partnering with themselves. What does it mix? What does it say? It tells that business is there where customers is. And customers are almost found in the new age companies or the online fashion as the case might be. So what do you want your audience to be? Common objective is lead generation, connecting with them, engaging them, clicking on your website, having landing, the people coming on your landing page, drive the right people to the website. And that is what we are looking at and eventually convert them into an online sale rather than the brick and mortar sale. And what is happening with brick and mortar sale? If you have a sizable traffic on an online mode, it will automatically push footfalls in your physical store, the brick and mortar stores and the app download as the case might be do your research and what are we talking about doing a research it is all about e-marketeers foresters experienced hit wise social media you have your own research you will have your own people out there who will let you know what exactly is happening and where the audiences are how do you go around it social media audiences will give you the facebook ad manager the twitter advanced service the instagram profile or instagram uh, ad managers how do you go around it the social media sentiments you look at the biggest one of the biggest organization is salesforce.com see the amount of dollars that they are doing it trucker.com social mention topsy you name it we have it these will tell you the engagement the level the amount of subscription available into any of the social media that might translate a fragment of it might translate into your sales and it makes sense to market to them on an online because it's not only cheap, but it is direct and accessible. Search engine like Google, Google AdWords printing, uh, SEM or search engine uh, machine, as you call it, Rush, SEMrush, Moz.com, another of the social media present, which helps you to search those keywords. That is what Moz.com would be all, all about it. People are searching which all keywords, which all keywords are trending. Now, if you want to determine, let's say we go, go to the Facebook ads manager. If you look it out, we can pinpoint it on the base of location. We can pinpoint it on the base of age, gender, interest, connection, all people connected to your pages, all subscription they've been there, interested in, as in all men, women, relationship status, all single, relation, married, engaged, not specified, education, workplace, see the amount of segmentation, the amount of depth that you go around your customers. So you need to understand what we have got around it. So there can be a lot many events that can be done. So let's say a new job, a new relationship, recently moved, transferred, family status away from family. Look at the segment people are attaching to and people give their family status, give they provide their status altogether and what kind of it been all about it it helps you to dissect the segment. It helps you to understand the individual customer profile. Now, what kind of games do the people play? Job status, event planners, small business owners, you name it and we have it. We have this market. Believe me, this presentation, I'm just showing it to you from the US market perspective, just to give you an understanding how well it can be developed, how minutely it can be dissected, how well a product, a profile, can be researched and probably the product and the profile of the customer can be matched thereby. So find your audiences in your Twitter. Right now it has been re, uh, renamed as X, rechristened as X. You can have everything right from people, photos, videos, news, timeline, advances. You look into it. If people are searching anything on the Twitter, the hashtag, and it will give you a list of probable things. So can you trend? find those trending hashtag? Can your hashtag be trending? 
the other way around and this is where you need to promote it out linkedin is for group by interest the professional social media group here also it, it will let you know how to further your career how to enhance your network how to make sure that you are much more visible to the pertinent person keep trackers did i say hashtag keep topics did i say things now this can be done with keyhole.co.in sorry keyhole.co now this is what we are looking into it it will give you the number of posts it will give you the number of users it will actually let you know how many people have read the users the impression impression is where somebody is actually working on that post probably through an action button probably through a hashtag probably they are going to a different landing pages so look at the timeline and we can go around it Remember, this is an individual timeline that I've been given on which all dates things have been going out on a higher end. And that is what helps you to understand which topics are trending, which hashtags matter, who are the top influencer. Talking about influencer, we have the latest generation of not only making a new business, but also in, in ensuring that your brand get, uh, get visible attention from a influencer perspective the followers out there and that can be done with google.com the blog search or any other influencer that comes around in the social media be it facebook be it x be it instagram the many faces of influences as i keep on saying it what are those faces now don't come into it but what i wanted to go around don't come into the details as, as far as this slide is concerned but what i wanted to stress upon it we have different role we have a role of a celebrity the influencer the authority the command per person the person with all the know-how regarding a pers uh, regarding a topic the connector probably where in you can be the middleman or probably wherein you can ensure that the product reaches to the right audience is the brand and this is to be enhanced upon the analyst post purchase and pre-purchase what does it goes around it great uh, great notation and these are many faces of an influencer mind you these are just a perspective the activist who can promote your brand the expert who can analyze a brand from the perspective of what could have been or what could have been done the insider as in what all information that is pertaining portraying or what competitors are doing about your brand the agitator who is actually setting a benchmark is what is expected from the brand from the product in the next version the journalist is actually documenting it now, these are the many faces of influencer i repeat celebrity authority connector brand analyst activist expert insider agitator and journalist these are the 10 roles that an influencer plays around it can you ignore an influencer after knowing this thing probably now what is earned media these are the top uh, influencer which goes around it you promote a brand you put in a money but what happens if somebody promotes it on your behalf without taking a money it's an organic way and that is what this earned media is all about it earned media is not new consumers have been talking about brand it's the word of mouth that we keep on talking on the physical marketing places believe me or not in social media because 92 percent of the people trust their peers it has major impact in fact earned media provides four times the brand leverages that any paid ads would be doing around it so this is what we are looking at four times the tweet the x that we do around is what is happening with cloud influencer so this will tell it to you how earn media is much better word of mouth facilities of uh, marketing activities is four times much more effective than anything anything else why don't we have a uh, public relation who is friendly to you that is what we would love to it we can have lot many people working towards your brand some of them might be sponsored many of them should not be sponsored as in these people come experience your product experience your service and write about it now what are this category that we are looking into it we are looking to the category where my audience is there my business is there if i have a food business i would ensure a food blogger if i am a fashion business i would ensure a fashion blogger entertainment business entertainment blogger beauty blogger travel blogger lifestyle blogger green blogger music blogger parent blogger and so on and so forth so this will let me know how well i am being visible now where do you find those right people this is where it will help it you with an analytics the google analytics would have always been there you i am also giving you the simple free website out here for you to understand google.com slash 
analytics simply measured is another thing to understand what is happening in your ex audience erstwhile known as twitter audiences facebook insight will give you other things now these will be tell, telling it who are your influencers see what is happening how many followers how many of them are following followers to following multiplied by this tweets listed and so on so forth then we have the retargeting ad find and follow your target audiences as in ad roles as in the google ads you name it and we can have it the retargeting companies gets you the best obviously if somebody has shown an interest in your product and perhaps may not have made that action button let's say message call or purchase out here you can retarget the person the next day the following week the next month with the same product or the variation of your product or the with a promotion of your product and ensure that that individual take some actions so how to engage your audiences you can have uh, listicles all together about the facilities that your audience that your product or services have been provided you can give quizzes as in educating them about your facilities about your uh, promotions explain us elaborate the usages we have mobile probably finding enabling uh, audience to find your product or service on your mobile breaking news as in the scroll that comes around here and videos probably the made to use videos how well can you influence those videos are you present on a usage as far as youtube is concerned these are things you can always engage your customers if these are the things these are the contents that you go around it listicle quizzes explainer mobile breaking news videos and so on so forth so who are your customers let us search them find your business find your niche find your audiences if you have a business of product or services who enjoys those product or services answer this question where are they available find it out can you engage them is what we are looking into it so your next steps should be doing the research as i said use tool to research the potential size of the audience make friends find influencer brand advocates get yourself organized ensure that you are engaged you are ready to engage the audiences with a mix of online strategies and an offline strategies including digital marketing social media online advertising follow your plan religiously wasting money stinks do not i repeat do not burn your money always often check with your metrics as in what you are doing is it going to the relevant objectives or not if not resist desist from such activity go for different target audiences different media planning different ab testing uh, promotion ensure that whatever money you are spending on route you should make every penny count with this i come to an end of this presentation thank you for watching this video till the end